all right so this is 2023 and uh, let us catch up with 2022 what all happened well in the beginning of 2022 high got closed it was an ed tech company the operation got closed the company is yet registered we are trying to build something on the top of that without registering a new entity because if you can register a new company you can also have a lot of overhead which comes with the company for example itr filings unnecessary expenses a lot of issues which will come along with that documentation local meetings and much more so that's that's the reason why we didn't register a new company and it was still uh, like you know being built on the top of uh, high quality private limited okay apart from that uh moving from uh, hyderabad to bangalore well the things which i wanted to achieve by moving to bangalore uh, a part of that has been achieved uh, which is basically having good connection with founders having a uh, good connection with tech people sometimes software architect front and back end um, like you know and highly experienced aws and azure exports so now i have very good connection with them uh, apart from that we wanted to fasten the process uh, of uh, like you know meeting with a lot of businesses and actually creating a feedback loop to improve our product on the go that is something which we have got contacts for but not so many but uh, from the industry in which we are building next commerce we have quite decent contacts and that is actually quite helping in like you know understanding the vision and understanding the product i must also tell you that uh, uh, people over here are quite open-minded that means that if you take five to ten minutes of their time to just have a call or discussion they are quite open and they are quite well, like you know, open to help um unlike a lot of cities they are not close-minded and uh, like you know often uh, in other cities people think that uh, you are likely getting the information to create a new company or like you know tackle their or take over their competitors and all but uh, here people think of that quite less and they try to help you more with the relevant information they are also quite open-minded and they talk about the revenue which is quite interesting because not everyone shares that right okay what why did i just play a bike video well because this goes back to the Uti trip which i took last year it was one of the most interesting trip i ever taken and more than the destination the journey was very important and here are some of the clips from that Going Uti on a bike ride is amazing. It's just amazing because once you go with a train or by plane, you don't have this all sceneries. You don't have all these problems which you face on the way. When you go on a bike, sometimes the temperature will be higher. Sometimes the temperature will be lower. Sometime you will be riding through the clouds and sometime you will see a beautiful view and you would like to stop. You will stop and you will capture beautiful images. It is just amazing.
somewhere around early December, I got uh, like you know um, invited to speak at uh, each hour event which was basically marketing strategies for startups and SMBs and uh, here uh, we talked about uh, organic marketing especially how to do like you know cost effective marketing without spending a lot of um, like you know uh, money on ad budget and on the stage I had Ashwin Nair who is basically from InStory this company had raised uh, 200 million dollars in funding and then I also have uh, Nava Jyoti, who is actually founder of uh, Shamji Chole Bhature, which is actually a series of uh, restaurants, you can say, like uh, restaurants where you can find Chole Bhatures and all. And I also met uh, co-founder of Tawaga. Tawaga is basically an app, it's a finance app, and uh, um, we four people, uh, including me, were uh, on the panel, and it was a quite interesting talk. People asked a lot of interesting questions. Here is a small clip wherever you know the language barrier attached as well at times you know in terms of how we want to communicate yes just trying to make it organized or uh, probably you can say like chole bhature chain we are trying to build we should be doing marketing which is very sustainable to our company not because i am sitting here talking about seo not not because someone is talking about social media you should see that where exactly your audience is if you can figure that out then you have to put all the effort yeah, so that's a very short clip from the event. Uh, we didn't record the whole video, our mistake. Uh, yeah, uh, apologize for that. And uh, anyway, it was a quite decent event. People asked a lot of interesting questions and uh, yeah, the event went well. After that, uh, in the end of December, uh, I visited this place called Nandi Hills. And Nandi Hills is a quite interesting place. Uh, you should likely be visiting that if you are in Bangalore as a traveler. Uh, you will see, you'll see the cloud below you and the sunrise will happen above the cloud right and it's a very interesting place here is a picture of that Right, so uh, that happened and then um, like you know 31st December 2022, uh, this is where we went to Koramangla. Koramangla is a very famous place where people go to have fun, there are a lot of pubs as well as companies and food places uh, where you can actually like you know have fun and uh, like you know, if you have to go to pub you can go, pubs are not quite nice, I do clubbing though, yeah. And uh, I don't go there too much but sure why not, like you are in Bangalore you should have fun, so yeah. Uh, I met quite a good number of people from different different backgrounds, front-end, back-end, data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, I mean there's nothing called artificial intelligence, it's just machine learning, so sure. Uh, met a lot of people around that and uh, what more? On November 30th, I met one of the biggest role models as an entrepreneur. It was Sridhar Vembu, the founder of Zoho Corporation. This company was founded in 1996 and grew bootstrapped. That means that this company never raised any funds from VC and they are profitable. They also recently reached $1 billion in revenue, surpassing a lot of different tech companies on consumer level. That means that they acquired more and more customers rather than increasing the price of the product. They kept their pricing low. They went beyond USD. They went in even non tier one countries and they did business there. They outperformed a lot of competitors and it was quite interesting. When Sridhar Bambu speaks, he speaks on the very core basics of business rather than looking at PR, news or funding because PR and news is not what business does, right? You do business with people, you build relationships, you deliver flawless products and they continue to use your product flawlessly. This is what business means at the end of the day and this is what Sridhar Vembu does. I really appreciate his contribution towards India in educating entrepreneurs in the right way unlike media which often pushes towards funding, PR and reputation which is not the right way to look at entrepreneurship. Okay, let's get back to our 2022 review.
what I have observed is like you know in, in Hyderabad, uh, although I was going to events, I was not able to meet a lot of people because events were limited. For example, on Wednesday, uh, the events used to happen at uh, ThoughtWorks, uh, and ThoughtWorks event was like you know likely one time in a month. But uh, here events are weekly and there are more events, not just one. That means that you need to choose where you want to visit. So there is more uh, more of chaos where you want to go and you have to be very, very specific. So time management has been a challenge for me. And overall, it has been a very interesting journey so far. So I think that things go well um, in terms of our team. Uh, we are doing quite well. Uh, we have to improve on a lot of things actually. Um, Every year I generally write that what have I achieved in the past year and what I should be achieving in next year. So there has been a revenue downfall because uh, which we pivoted from one company to another which was basically EdTech to MarTech now and we already had Sabalix which was making decent amount of revenue. So so uh, yeah, it, it's uh, quite well. Um, we hope that you know we push it in the right direction. And uh, there's a plan for pushing that in the right direction. And by 2022, we should have revenue in the picture. And uh, let's see if we are able to raise funds. Although, not very interested actually raising funds, but let's see how the situation tells us because it's it cannot be just us who is doing the decision making, but it's also the situation and the amount of money you have in the bank account to raise. Okay. Uh, anyway, so that's pretty much it. Um, I will level. I uh, live here and uh, yeah, it was nice seeing you again and thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye